Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the all-new lithium-powered UTV from Landmaster called the AMP. So let's get started right now. What makes the AMP really special is that it can be used in a variety of different applications. Residential use, commercial applications, municipalities for events, for venues, indoors, outdoors. So depending on how you're going to use the vehicle, the electric lithium powered option may be a really good fit for you. So what we've got is a 4x2 and a 4x4 two passenger model, a 4x2 and 4x4 crew option, and then finally we've got the near six foot long steel bed AMP Pro model. But is a lithium powered UTV right for you or is a gas powered unit? I'm going to go over some of those features today and reasons why a electric UTV may be a better option for you. A couple things to consider on the AMP vehicles is what can it do for you? What are some of the key features when looking at this product? couple things is you're going to be able to go up to 30 miles an hour. Now in this case, this model behind me has the flip seat. So any models from Landmaster, whether it's gas or electric, that has a flip seat on it, we're going to max the speed out to 24 miles an hour just from a safety perspective. But on all the AMP models, um, you're going to go up to 30 miles an hour. The AMP Pro does get limited to 24 as well because it can haul up to 1,000 pounds. So again, from a safety measure standpoint, Landmaster does limit the uh, speed to 24 on that. So one of the things to consider on the AMP vehicles is the low maintenance. A huge key selling feature, not having to deal with gas, you're not having to deal with fuel filters, air, air filters, or any of the other really ongoing service maintenance that you're going to have with a, a typical gas powered engine. So the low maintenance is a big selling feature. Quick acceleration as well. So when you put that um, throttle pedal to the floor, it's instant torque, instant acceleration versus kind of the lag that you'd get with a gas powered engine. So when it comes to the amp, you really want to consider, hey, do I need a quiet, do I like the quietness? The quietness is kind of a big selling feature because if you've got passengers next to you, in the electric vehicle, you can have a conversation and you're not having to yell over a gas, loud, noisy engine. Um, the fumes is also another big selling feature is, are you gonna be in an environment that is more enclosed or around people in a neighborhood, a lake community where you may need to be more considerate of uh, putting out fumes. So those are some of the key things I love about the AMP model. Now I'm gonna walk you through some of the specs that comes with the electric vehicle so you can get a better understanding there. So the batteries that come in the Landmaster AMP are actually a 48 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. A lot safer and longer lasting than a typical lithium ion battery. So these batteries will last up to 3,500 different cycle charges. So to put that in a little bit of perspective for you is if you used your AMP every day, drained it down to zero and charged it every single day for 365 days, it would take you 10 years to get to about that 3,500 cycle charge count. A lot of people when it comes to an electric vehicle want to know about the charge time. It takes about six to eight hours of charge time in a home outlet, a 110, in your home or garage or barn. Um, we provide the cord, the charging cord, and it will charge in about six to eight hours from zero to 100%. The battery that comes in the four x two model is actually our mid-range, take you up to 30 miles in range. Um, you can purchase the extended range battery that will extend the range in the 4x2 model up to 50 miles. Now if you get one of our 4x4 models, the Crew 4x2 um, or the Amp Pro, those all come with the extended range battery so you're going to get up to 50 miles range standard in those models. People always wonder, well, what, how long does that last? Up to 50 miles, is that always going to be the case? It's just like your gasoline car or your gas UTV. It depends on how you're gonna be driving it and what you're gonna be doing. So if every time you get in your amp and you floor it and you wanna go 30 miles an hour, 
it's not going to last the full 50 miles. If you're doing starts and stops around um, property, just maintaining it, it's going to last you all day doing that. So depending on your use case, depending on how much you're hauling, depending on where you're at, if you're driving up hills consistently, that's all going to impact your range. So the charging port is right here on the side. It's in replacement where they typically put the gas tank here. So that just opens up. We provide a 15 amp 12 gauge cord that'll come with all amp models. Just plug that in, you can plug it in overnight and your amp will be 100% in the morning. You've got three bed options to choose from. The standard poly bed that will come with your UTV or the upgradable steel bed or rear flip seat steel bed shown on this amp model. All of the AMP UTVs will come with the ability to haul up to 400 pounds standard in the back of your UTV, or you can upgrade with the um, heavy duty shocks and be able to haul up to 600 pounds. Another cool feature on all UTVs from Landmaster, including the AMP, is you've got a standard rear hitch receiver and a standard front hitch receiver. So if you have implements or you're gonna to be towing trailers, just a really good, good add-on there, and you can tow up to 1,500 pounds. Now on the AMP, if you need to haul more, on the AMP Pro, you can haul up to 1,000 pounds and tow up to 1,750. All Landmaster beds are also dumpable, so this will also tilt up. Now this has a seat on it, so it is limited, but the other uh, steel and poly bed will come up almost near to 90 degrees. Now I want to show you how the rear flip seat works. Again, you can get this on any model from Landmaster. This seat will flip down and then the top part has two notches here that you can disconnect and flip up. And now you've got a full capable steel bed if you're doing some work around your yard, property, or what have you. And then if you've got some family in town or if you're at an event and you need to transport some people around the venue, you can easily convert this in less than 30 seconds into another two passenger bench seat and there's two lap belts for safety on the back. Another thing you should know about all Landmaster vehicles, including the new AMP, is the best-in-class bumper-to-bumper warranty. It's a one-year limited exclusions warranty that'll cover you for the first full year of ownership. And really, they'll cover everything except three things. Tires, batteries, and brake pads. So three wearable items. If anything else goes wrong with your Landmaster in that first full year, know that you'll be covered and you can talk to somebody right here in our Indiana Domestic Call Center. As far as the amp, the battery warranty is five year prorated battery. So if anything were to go wrong with your battery in the first five years, know that there's a warranty that can cover you. So the AMP is built on the same chassis as the L7 platform, the flagship model for Landmaster. And what makes this suspension system so unique is that it has a trailing arm concept and then also uses dual rate springs. So those dual rate shocks on the back really help maintain that quality of ride, whether you have fully loaded passengers or you know, let's say you're hauling 500 pounds it's not going to jeopardize the quality of that ride. The other thing is that trailing arm concept on the back of the vehicle really helps if you're going 24, 25 miles an hour around a tight corner, you're not going to feel like the vehicle is going to tip over. It's going to really glide around those turns. If you're going over, over berms or curbs, it's going to lessen the blow and feel that you feel from going over those curbs. So, um, we'll do a test drive video later and you'll see that when you go over a lot of these obstacles, you really don't feel it um, in the cab of the vehicle. Just like the L7 and a lot of the other Landmaster models, the front comes with the um, same ball joints that the Dodge Ram uses. Fully sealed, greasable ball joints really protects that front end from any dirt or grime or debris from getting up under underneath your wheels. The other thing you'll get with the AMP is four wheel hydraulic disc brakes. So 
So again, when you're going 24, 30 miles an hour, you, from the safety side, you gotta have a good braking system um, to stop quickly and safely. The AMP comes with an electronic throttle pedal. Gives you better, smoother action um, with your foot, a lot more comfortable, and it really helps with that acceleration if you need to go from zero to 30 quickly. Another thing it does is if you're really trying to maintain a certain speed, let's say 10 miles an hour, makes it really easy to do that. It's not choppy or jumpy um, when pushing down on the accelerator. The standard tires on the AMP is actually our Max Terrain on-road, off-road tire. A really good tire for if you're driving on the roads. It's gonna be smooth, quiet, but then if you need to do a little bit more aggressive driving off-road, um, it's good and capable for those applications. On this model here, this is actually the Cruiser tire, which is a good multi-purpose tire as well. More for smoother terrain, on-road, um, turf applications but fully capable to handle, we're out here in the dirt, fully capable to handle these applications as well. But Landmaster's got over six tire and wheel options to choose from. You can kind of build it how you want on the online configurator. Another cool feature is the AMP got all new decaling when it came out. Um, white reflective decals on the side for driving at night, safety element. A lithium ion decal up here, and then a molded eagle in the front. On the back, you've got a Landmaster uh, white reflective decal, and then on the tailgate, you've also got an eagle decal um, that is reflective as well. Again, a good safety element, 360 degrees around the vehicle. Another hidden feature down here is this black reflective uh, decal. Just an accent to kind of break up that kick plate. Kind of a unique ghosted decal, I like that. So a lot of the accessories shown on the outside of this vehicle can all be custom built either through the dealer or through the online configurator. Like I mentioned, the wheels are an upgrade, but you've also got the split windshield and the plastic roof, which is kind of a must have in my opinion, especially if you're gonna be out in dusty environments, you're gonna want a windshield, you're gonna want a roof. Um, the flip seat is also an upgrade as well as these deluxe seats inside. So this is an upgraded seat, better styling, and more comfort than the standard marine grade seat that comes with the Landmaster UTVs. If you are gonna be in a commercial application or in a community, an environment where you're gonna be driving on roads, you're gonna to wanna to have a turn signal kit which comes with a horn, um, tail lights, a license plate, light and holder in the back, and just some essentials that you're gonna need for the road. And finally, just another added safety element is this amp has the side and rear view mirrors as well. So getting in and out of the vehicle is really easy. Nice, e easy in and out access. So if you need to get in and out of your UTV constantly, um, it's really just a nice quick in and out. You do have these safety nets on the side that easily clip in here. If you're gonna be going faster, it's definitely recommended to keep these on, but they can be taken off over here to be cleaned and washed. Um, some other elements inside the vehicle is your hand parking brake is right here. Headlights and your front bumper LED light, that's all activated right here on the right side or left side of the vehicle. Turning on the vehicle, there's a couple steps where there's a safety on-off feature for the battery. You just hold that down for five seconds. It will turn the battery on, turn the key switch, and then this rotary switch will take me into forward, neutral, or reverse. Up in the top here, you've got some options depending on your model. Since this is a 4x2 model, the option I have at the top standard is just my high speed, low speed switch. Low speed's gonna limit you to about 15 miles an hour. Your high speed's gonna take you up to 30 miles an hour. On the 4x4 models, your on-demand 4x4 switch would be also up at the top. When you activate that switch, you're, the vehicle's gonna stay in 4x2 mode until it senses some sort of slippage on the rear wheels, and then it will send power up to the front, putting you in 4x4. 
On the passenger side, we've also got two cup holders here, as well as can be served as for small storage and tools. You've also got a nice bungee storage here for a phone. You can upgrade to get the center console, which will give you even more storage um, in the middle. Underneath the seat on the passenger side, you've also got a nice tray over here for some additional storage of tools or papers or whatnot. In the front of your steering wheel, you've got your hour meter and your voltage meter. This model also comes with uh, power steering as an upgradable option. Some of the AMP models will come with power steering standard, so go onto the Landmaster website and check that out. I mentioned that this vehicle has the upgraded uh, turn signal package. This is how you'd activate turn signals right here on the side or your hazard lights. Another element that comes with all AMP vehicles is the rear locking differential. So even if you get the 4x2 model, um, that rear locking differential is going to give you some added traction if you are in mud or loose gravel. Um, all AMP models come with that. Just gets activated with a simple switch here and then you're engaged. When comparing the AMP to a typical golf car, even a lithium ion golf car, those are going to start around $18,000. So the AMP start at the 4x2 starts around $14,000 and you're getting a lot more capable elements and features than you would with a golf car. So you're going to be able to go faster. The range is up to 50 miles. You've got a full enclosed um, ROPS overhead system in place for safety. Uh, you've got seat belts on the AMP for safety. You've got side nets. Uh, the suspension system is significantly different than a golf car. You're going to be able to go um, through a lot more treacherous areas off terrain over you know, mud, hills, curbs, and barely feel all the bumps. So in a golf car, you know, there are the benefits there of it being slimmer and narrower, but if you want more capabilities to go on-road and off-road, the AMP's probably your best bet from a, a value standpoint and a feature standpoint. Well, that's everything you guys need to know on the AMP from Landmaster. If you're interested in this vehicle, please stop at your nearest dealer, have a test drive, and see what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please like it below and then subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you next time.